everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and today we're planning on having some carne asada tacos for dinner. So that starts with a carne asada marinade and that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. This marinade is extra delicious. You can use it on steak like we're doing today or you can use it on, um, on chicken or you can use it on pork or whatever you like. Today we're having carne asada, so this is what we're going to use to make this marinade. This, in my um, in my measuring cup, I have three limes worth of juice. I squeezed the, the lime shells are down here because we're going to use those later in another recipe. I also have squeezed one and a half oranges, and I'm going to continue and finish off this last orange. I'm just, um, just squeeze all the juice out of it the best that you can. And this is going. The citrus juice is a fabulous tenderizer for the meat, and it's wonderful. You can just let that in there. I'm going to leave those shells for later. What I also have here is six cloves of garlic, finely minced. Definitely a garlic lover's dish. What I have in here is one teaspoon each: garlic powder, onion powder, ground cumin, ore uh, dried oregano, salt, and pepper. And then what we're going to do now is I have uh, two serrano chilies that I've already sliced and chopped. Um, you can remove the seeds if you like, but I've already tasted these and they're not terrible. And we're just using them to flavor the meat. We're not going to be um, sauteing them, although you could if you wanted to later on. You could throw these in a pan and heat up that marinade and eat those. I also have a half of a large red onion that I have thinly, thinly sliced. I'll bring this over here, and this is all going to go right in the jug. Just like that. The only other thing I'm going to add to this is a little bit of honey, and this is optional. You don't have to add it, but I think it does add a little something-something. I would say for this amount, about a tablespoon. Give this a good stir. And then you can just simply pour this over the meat of your choice in a Ziploc bag or in a container and keep it in the refrigerator for at least two hours until you're ready to grill it. Um, this can easily be done overnight. Oh my gosh, can you smell it? Mm -hmm. It smells fantastic. So that is how you make a really easy and really delicious carne asada style marinade. And then you just use whatever meat you like and grill it to your heart's desire. And I hope you try this, and I hope you love it. I will throw the recipe up on my website. That's noreenskitchen.com. Um, I hope you give this a try, and I hope that you love it. Um, make sure to comment down below. Tell me what some of your other favorite grilled-out meals are. And uh, I might just do a video. You just never know. Also, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and this is the first time you visited, or you visited a few other times and have considered subscribing but haven't yet, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. That way you don't miss any minute of fun that we have here in my kitchen. So, again, I hope you try it. I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.